Hi everyone, welcome to another psdvault.com tutorial. In this video I'll show you how to design a shining play button for use on the web. So as you can see there, I've just created a simple yellowy orange circle on top of that blue background there. Now what I'm going to do is give this circle a bit of a 3D effect by putting a highlight up the top left of it with a large soft white brush and then a equivalent large soft black brush down the bottom right to give it a bit of a shadow. Then the next step here I'm just going to create a shadow for the whole orb itself. So a new layer, just a big black soft brush. Then I'm going to use the free transform tool to resize it down to the shape that a shadow should be. And then we'll put that behind the layer. That looks about right. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is create the triangular image for the play button itself. So I'm going to grab the polygon tool, make it three sides, and it's going to be a nice brown color. I'm going to turn on the grid just for the sake of alignment here so we can see what's going on. And press shift and drag to the right there, and that just creates the triangle. Then we'll just reposition it to where it should be. And that shortcut to toggle the grid, by the way, is just control and the apostrophe key. Then what I've done is add in a inner shadow and gradient overlay into the blending options here. Just with those values there. And that just adds some depth to the triangle. Next up, what I'm going to do is add a highlight behind the triangle. So again, just create a new layer beneath the triangle itself. Grab a soft white brush, resize it down to be approximately the size of the triangle itself. And just click in there. Then I'm going to duplicate that layer and on the duplicated one, I'm then going to resize it, transform it, and align it along the edges of the triangle. So I'm going to do that three times. So once you're happy with the edges of the triangle and the glowing effect there, then what I'm going to do is grab the selection of the circle again, and create a new layer, move it above the shadow layer at the bottom there, and then I'm going to draw in a soft white circle there again, just to the outside of the selection, so you end up with an effect like that. deselect it and then drag it slightly outside the circle just to give that sort of like a, a shimmering glowing effect. Going to duplicate it, flip it 180 and going to position that on the opposite side of the circle there. So 
So next up I'm going to add in an effect on top of it there. So just grabbed a soft brush, created a custom brush type here with those values seen there. And on a new layer I'm just going to randomly draw in the dots effectively. And whatever looks alright here. It's up to you entirely. And once you're happy with the number and location of those soft white dots around the place there, then we're going to change that layer's blending mode to soft light, just to make it a bit more subtle. Well, almost at the end now, so the last thing I'm going to do is add another layer there, using a large soft yellow brush this time. So add some highlighting behind the button. And want to position that perhaps on the top half, peeking out behind it there. Now I'm not quite happy with that colour. It's turned out to be a bit too yellow. So I've added in a colour adjustment layer here. With the midtones and highlights set to be distinctly red in nature. So we turn those on. And that looks a bit better. Now that really makes the bright yellow stand out a bit. So again, position that the way you want it. Okay, so that's it for this one. And here's another one we did on our website. Alright, well thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time. Take care.